Hello everyone. This is Bob and Threadbear with one of the old classic adventure games from LucasArts. It's not really associated with any of the big name series like Star Wars or Indiana Jones. <laughs> And it never really got its own sequel. Although it sort of is one. Let's see what these tentacles want. Hmm, I'm thirsty. I don't think you should drink that. It looks bad for you. Nonsense. It makes me feel great. Smarter. More aggressive. I feel like I could. Like I could. <laughs> like I could. Take on the world. Later. Look, Hoagie, it's a hamster. Just what I need for dissection lab tomorrow. I think I need that for the band, Laverne. You know, like we could bite its head off or whatever. Hands off that hamster. Friend of yours, Bernard? He belongs to Weird Ed Edison, and it looks like he's brought us a note. It's from my old friend, Green Tentacle. He says that purple tentacles mutated into an insane genius, and Dr. Fred's going to kill them both! I love Laverne's expression. I thought I was free of Dr. Fred and those crazy Edisons forever. But now, I know that I must go... back to the mansion! doesn't have any sort of pedigree going for it. I mean, like I said before, it's not Star Wars, it's not Indiana Jones. I mean, heck, it's not even, uh, Secret of Monkey Island. But still, it's got Tim Schafer behind it. probably tell from the artwork, it's really starting to take shape for him. Now, I don't believe I'm the first person to have confused his art style with that of, uh, uh Jonah Vasquez. The guy behind the Invader Zim series. It's fairly simple, and for a little while I thought they were related, but they're not. Certainly both crazy though. <laughs> Screw. Ain't that right, Cap? Okay, we'll spread out commando style. Laverne, you go secure the area behind those double doors. Hoagie, you take care of upstairs reconnaissance. I'll maintain Command HQ here, in the lobby. What are we looking for? We've got to find where Dr. Fred is holding the tentacles. This better not take too long. I've got an anatomy final tomorrow. And I've got a show to set up later tonight. If I'm late, I don't get to test the drums. If I know Dr. Fred, he's got the tentacles tied up in his secret lab. Question is, 
Where's his secret lab? Ah, uh, finally got control. Well, as you can see, Bernard Bernoulli here starts out with his very own inventory item. The Chicago Manual of Thermodynamic Flux Induction Circuit Design. Great stuff! Absolutely fascinating. Well, let's start looking at everything. Mmm, spearmint, my favorite. We better have some of that. It's stuck to the floor. Ah, uh, nuts. That one looks like it's from a local hardware store. A flyer from a hardware store. Well, it doesn't really sound very interesting, but this is an adventure game, so we pick up everything that's not nailed down. It's from George's Hardware. George says that every American should have a vacuum cleaner in their basement. What's this? Help wanted. Lab assistant. Hard-working moronic drone needed to assist genius with experiments. High school diploma. Not required. <laughs> well, Bernard's not much of a moronic drone, but let's take it anyway. Looks like a stand for tourist info and ads for local merchants. A horticultural horror. And that's no way to treat Chuck. How did that get up there? I can't reach it up there. Nuts. Neat! Maybe pushing the button. Maybe it's really that simple. No surface. Uh, nuts. It's signed, here's your EPA grant. Keep up the good work. Hi from Mommy, Ronnie83. It looks broken, but there's something in the coin return. Maybe it's a coin. 1952. Well, if I hit a single lab, it would be where the tourists weren't allowed. Always make sure they get your good side. Now you got a good side? Look at your waistline there. Jesus, there are people at the turn of the century who wear their pants slower than you, man. Gee, Dr. Fred doesn't have a penny! Now he doesn't have his bank book either. Thanks a lot, you jerk. Gee, Dr. Fred doesn't have a penny. Sleek design, sturdy construction, attractive housing. All in all, a fine phone. Man, you're a nerd. You know that? I don't have time for idle chit-chat now. I have work to do. Looks like Dr. Fred wearing a powdered wig. Handsome in a way. But I'm glad he eventually accepted his hair loss. That looks like a very suspicious portrait. I'd rather not. Well. Aha. Uh -huh. The safe is closed. I don't know the combination. Uh -huh. It's closed. No, it's not. Who will be gone? It's a bottle of correctional fluid. It's a bottle of correctional fluid. Boy, the Edisons are a spectacularly ugly family. Wow, it's from my favorite movie. <laughs> yeah, that figures. All sorts of different reasons. Hmm, there's something funny about that clock. Yeah, let's stop messing around. Aha, a secret passage. This is all too easy. for you. Laverne, how'd you get upstairs? Am I upstairs? I got lost. Seen any tentacles? What's a tentacle? Oh, just something I whipped up in my spare time. Made good pets, actually. Until one of them tried to take over the world and to tie the little buggers up in the basement. Good thing you told us that. Yeah, Bernard wanted us to set them free. Thank God you weren't that stupid. Did you say Bernard? 